Welcome to Burning Yin Yang. I'm Axel, and this is Indie Tuesday. This week, we're taking a look at a game called Regions of Ruin, and without further ado, let's get into the details. Regions of Ruin was released on February 5th, 2018, and is developed by Vox Games and published by Poisky Productions. The reception that I've seen so far seems to be very positive about this game, so I am excited to dive into it and see what it has to offer. Now, the minimum requirements for this game is you have to have at least an operating system of Windows 7, the processor at least a 1 gigahertz, they say Intel Core i5, 512 megabytes of RAM, an NVIDIA or AMD above 512 megabyte dedicated graphics card, DirectX version 9, uh, 900 megabytes available space, and for a sound card, anything that works. So it's not the most intense game that we've done on Indie Tuesday, but let's take a look at it and see what it has to offer. All right, and here we are. So we're at the main menu. Uh, I am able to use a controller. I'm just gonna dive right into it. Uh, let's pick our difficulty. I guess I'll go human. Looks like you have a controller plugged in. Would you like to use it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm using it right now. So Dwarven Kin had led a golden age of complacency across the continent. The Great Centaur Human War, however, caused the dwarves to shun the overworld. Their caste lords locked themselves into the mountains for centuries when the doors finally opened, ending centuries of silence. I probably read that weird and I apologize. Okay. What the dwarves discovered was that the entire continent had changed. Neither human nor centaur remained. The land, once bustling with activity and trade, was now peppered with goblin, lich, and kobold enclaves. The door now opened, countless thousands of covetous... Dwarven kin fought fiercely but were soon exiled to the surface, enslaved, captured, and ousted from their homes. Now, far from their mountain cores, far from their heritage, the dwarves slowly sought to reconquer the lands. With the dwarven race scattered, mere refugees and vagabonds, it will take a hero to bring them together and restore the once mighty dwarven kingdom. Okay. W well, I'm using a controller. Okay. So it's really the, the left joystick to move. <laughs> what do we got? Use Y to interact with scenery and talk. Your caravan leader seems to be in trouble. What we got here? It seems my wheel is broken off my wagon. I'll need some wood to get it fixed. Think you can help. Uh, okay, then I have these. Uh, they're, it's kind of hard to read, but it says rumors, wood, occupation, and advice. Um, I guess I'll just go with advice. Or not. Let's try advice. Occupation. It's my job to take. Okay. Take your time looking for resources. You can find them in more places than you think. Oh, wood. I'll need about 10 wood to get it back up and on its feet. You might be able to find some around here. Cool. So we can jump with A and it looks like there's a stamina bar. Dash to skip the tutorial. Well, clearly I don't know how to dash, so I can't skip the tutorial. My body's not hiding a loading bar, it's just... I don't know what's going on right now. That took forever. Did I skip it? Are you serious? This is a great place to start a settlement. All we need is a couple of workers to help gather materials. Press Y to construct a building. Okay, so that's not really a building, but I'll construct it right there you built a campfire use it to level up your skills and then open your map to begin exploring nearby regions press m to open so sometimes it gives me the controls for the controller sometimes it gives me the controls for the keyboard okay we could use a storage tent to keep supplies for more constructions oh you were not done i'm sorry Safer areas nearby. You should begin your adventure there. You'll need to scout the area, though, before you can travel there. So did I just skip the tutorial? <laughs> okay, so swing in with X. Y to interact. B is like a power attack, I'm guessing, because he's swinging slower. And then A to jump. The triggers... Looks like the left trigger blocks. I don't know what that does. Apparently it makes me stealthy. That was the right uh, bumper. Or left bumper, excuse me. And the right bumper is my dash. Press A to continue. 
Okay, so I can move this around with the right joystick. And it says here, our position showed me some places on the map I can explore. Oh, that was the physician? Okay. Well, what's all this stuff over here? Oh, you're not going to let me look at the menus. Okay. So using my controller, I can't... I can't just uh, look at these other menus. Well, okay, let's use the mouse. So with the mouse, I can scroll over and see skills and stuff. You have skill points to spend, but you need to return to your campfire to use them. Inventory. Okay, that's a modest inventory size, I guess. Short axe, wooden buckler, little vest. Journal. You can select your journal to view quests, events, and progress of the compendium to free... Well, maybe this will show me the actual tutorial. Uh, nope. Uh, compendium? Well, that's... that's lovely. No companions. I don't know what that does. Click on it. Oh, so if I wanted to add workers, I guess I could, but... Okay, I just want to leave this thing. Well, let's go back to here. I guess we'll go here. I'm confirming. Yeah, yeah, let me go. Select. Maybe I can't go there? You won't even let me travel there. So what the actual flying malarkey? So does this not have full controller support? I'm sorry, I, my face was blocking that inventory, but it, there wasn't really much going on there. So I'm not really sure what to do. It, it looks like I skipped the tutorial. I didn't click the dash button. Or maybe I must have, but it wasn't doing anything. It was just stuck on that screen that said use the dash to skip tutorial. So this is where I can buy stuff. So I have apples. So give me a second. I'm actually going to move my face over. Okay, so now you guys can see it looks like that's like my inventory thing over there. So. I, I think it's actually better to play with the. Uh, with the mouse and keyboard. So we'll have the controller just in my lap, I guess, but I'll switch to WASD. Click on that. Of course, now I don't know how to interact with anything. <laughs> so clicking is my... Wow. Okay. I didn't want to have to look at this because I was hoping you would just tell me how to do it, but... Uh... Key bindings? Okay. Well, this is... Annoying. I guess I'll stick with the controller. This is frustrating. <laughs> Ready to explore? Where would you like to go? Okay, well maybe you'll actually let me travel. Oh, I'm back to this screen again. Okay. You use the trees to switch between the different skill trees. Each tree possesses progress from left to right. Bro, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, well, strength, I guess. I don't have time for this. All right. Let's just keep walking. I am in perfect health. Neat. This is over half of the gameplay by now. Right now, I'm at, like, you know, the recording side of it. I'm hitting about nine minutes of recording. Might be different on the actual timestamps down below. I might cut out some of the other stuff, but this... It's not, the, not very cool, actually. So was that not the map I was on? It would have been great if I didn't have to skip the tutorial. Or maybe this is the tutorial. And it's just really bad. Now I know you can do a lot of cool things in this game. I've seen some stuff and it looked really fun. But what the hell's going on? Oh, okay. What the heck? Okay. So I can move. So hold up. So check this out. So here I am, right? 
Just a black screen. I'm thinking it's a loading screen this entire time. All I had to do was move to the left. This is the map. This is in-game, right here. Are you freaking kidding me? Why? I don't get it. So if I were just to keep going right instead of left, what would happen? Nothing. Nothing happens? So what is the point of having just this black screen here? I swore it was just a loading screen. Okay, well, I've moved past it. Let's figure something else out. Okay, what's... This is, uh... Right back to where I was. Fantastic. So I'm gonna go all the way to the left. Again. Hit that black screen. Not be able to travel anywhere. Okay. So that opens up that. So then I should be able to, uh, just click on you. And did you just put the map away? You did just put the map away. So let's try to use some other buttons now. Okay. So I can scroll through those. What a crapshoot. <laughs> I'm not impressed. Not even a little bit. So now... Continue? Okay, let me... So I'm on here. X to select, which I've pressed X. Or is that it? Now I can go over here and hit explore? Are you serious? I don't even get to... What the heck? And it costs apples to do whatever the heck I just did. So what did I do? <laughs> and now I can travel to there. Okay. That's annoying as crap, but okay. Maybe now I can actually play the game a little bit. It seems quiet. Let's see what you can find. So that's gonna take me back to where I was. Wow, I barely could tell. It just changed to a lighter shade, but I can interact with it. City of Coral, greatest in armies of valor, hammers of war, none stand before. Okay. So I'm guessing I can break these. Oh, apples! Okay, that's cool. Are you investigating these ruins as well? Apparently ruins like this still have buried heirlooms hidden within. I'm looking to find one for myself. I'm not gonna... I'm not even try to get work from this guy. Okay, that was pretty straightforward. Saw a barricade, break it. I can jump. Alright, that's hard to tell what's a platform and what's not but I think I think I could get used to what 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 is and what isn't so that looks like it's the wait can I not pick you guys up oh okay so why to pick you guys up you found your first book segment it's been added to your compendium you can view it under the journal menu with J or by clicking the icon in the toolbar why do you keep giving me keyboard instructions if you're clearly aware that I'm playing with a controller. Alright, there was a... Ugh. So let me hit start. Okay, so that's something. So that's... 
Wait, I just unequipped it? Oh, okay. So just clicking on it automatically swapped it out. Okay. Oh, hand axe. Uh. Alright, so... What the heck? So is it like rock, paper, scissors? I don't have a health bar, or maybe he hasn't hurt me. Alright, so this seems to be the only thing that's hurting him, is my strong attack. Alright! I got him. And then I got some better stuff, it looks like. So, you know, I prefer sword, so let's, let's rock that. I think it's huge! Man, Sephiroth called. Oh, crap, they're shooting at me. Oh, I'm... God, really hope that prompt wasn't important because it popped up while I'm hitting the action that I'm, uh, whatever. Okay. Oh, I do have a health bar. So that's it. Fainting under great pain. And, oh, I... Just kind of regenerate. Okay. Not really sure what the heck just happened here either, but it does look like I'm passively regenerating health, which is nice. Nothing was really better. Sustaining fair wounds. Oh, I got a shield. That's right. I keep forgetting about that. Thanks for, like, your shield is damaged beyond welding. You can no longer use it until it's repaired. Awesome! Thanks for throwing ranged enemies at me when I have no way of really combating them properly. Okay, yeah, let's switch back and I'll talk about what I thought. Yeah. Okay, so, that was a game. <laughs> I, uh, right off the bat, I'm just gonna say that Regions of Ruin, it feels like a game that isn't a great fit for Indie Tuesday for this show. This show's designed to play the first 15, 20 minutes and get an initial impression, just because I personally feel like a game should have you hooked within the first 15 to 20 minutes, or at least kind of tell you what's going on. This game did not. Um... I'm pretty sure once I figured out how to play it, it's I probably would like it, but it was clunky. I was not a big fan of that. I'm not sure if I inadvertently skipped a tutorial or if that was the tutorial, but the controller was garbage. Would not play with a controller. I would definitely, if I were to go back to this game, I would just unplug my controller and switch to the keyboard. Half the prompts were for the keyboard controls anyway, so I don't really know if full controller support was there but that's how it was um i mean it did have i liked the art <laughs> that was nice but i do think that this is definitely one where it needed that more than that 15 to 20 minutes but then again if you're gonna make me spend more than 15 to 20 minutes to figure out your game just to be able to kind of play it that's a problem um and that black screen was just annoying i don't get that like that was a problem so not a big fan, personally, with the initial impression, but who knows, if you guys have played it and it does need more of a playthrough to really kind of get the gist of it, let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to see an Axe Play series, I can give it a pilot and see if, see how that goes. But until then, I'll, I will throw a link to it on the Humble Bundle store uh, if you guys want to try it for yourself, but didn't sell me. So that being said, I will catch you guys next week on the next Indie Tuesday and Hope you guys have a good one. Until then, I'm going to be Axel Maddock for Burning In Yang, and you guys stay fired up. Mm -hmm.